Okay, so in this lesson we're going through After Effects and how to composite back the stereo images that were made in the last lesson. So in the last lesson we rendered out the left and the right image inside Maya and we rendered them out separately so there's no sort of stereo effect on those images so we can composite them back in After Effects and apply some sort of a colour correction. So to start off with we can go to Edit, File even, Import or if you go in this project window you can double click and import so we'll select them two. So we've got the left and the right image. So to start off with, what we're going to do is drag this down this little move clip thing, which is a composition, or you can go to compositions new composition. So dragging that down, as you can see, it's got a new composition with that left in. So we'll rename this to left. And we'll do the same for the right as well. Let's drag that down, create a new one, rename it right. So now we've got the left and the right inside their own compositions. But what we'll need to do is have another composition called Stereo, which will add these two compositions together. Because what we'll be doing is inside these compositions, there'll be the colour correction. Then these two compositions get added in another composition called Stereo. So to do that, we'll drag the left down into a new composition. And this is called Left 2, so we'll rename that to Stereo. Right, so with that, with, in the stereo, we've got the left, so now we'll drag the right channel, the right composition down here. So now we've got the left and the right. Now, what we'll need to do is on the left, as you can see, if you click the eyeball, we can switch between the two. So we've got both images in there. So what we'll need to do is add some sort of a filter to make the stereo effect. So we can have a right click here, I'll go to effects it's channels, set channels. So what we're going to be doing is removing some of the colour information. So for the left, we'll need to remove the blue and green information. So if it says when it says green, set that to off. When it says blue, set that to off. And there we go. We've got the red image. So what we can do is select the right composition, effects, channels, set channels, or set channels. And then for this one, we need the red channel and switch that to off. And you might not be able to see anything, so we can just switch off the top channel so now we can see it. So there we go, we've got the two images, but they're not getting merged because this left image is on top because it's a layer based system. So all we need to do is in the mode, set this to add. And there you go, we've got the two images merged together. Now this will give the stereo effect. But if we wanted any sort of colour correction, so I'll say like if with this left I go to effects, colour correction, so I want a hue saturation. If I go along and start changing these values, as you can see, it's changing them, it's colour correcting it, but it's colour correcting the stereo effect. So these two images getting added together, you're not going to get a stereo effect anymore. And on top of that, changing this on the left will also need to change on the right as well. So we're going to go through how to change that. So if we go back to the projects, what we'll need to do is, we'll, you can have double click on the left, or at the bottom here it's got the different compositions. So in the left, we're going to go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Now the idea is, is we've got an adjustment layer, and we're going to add some colour correction effects to this layer, and get this layer to affect both the left, the right, so the same colour correction on the left and the right, and then those two get merged together. So the colour correction occurs before the stereo. So for this, we're going to right click, effects, colour correction, and hue saturation. And this can also work with different filters if you want to use brightness contrast or anything like that. So to start off, we'll just, as you can twiddle bit this about, we'll use this master hue wheel. So you can spin that around, and as you can see, it's changing the colours of the left image. So this is all good, but now if we go back to the stereo, we've colour corrected the left, but if you go to the right composition, nothing's happened. It's back to normal. So your stereo is trying to fuse the left, which is a completely different colour, with the right. So this isn't going to work. You need the exact, exact, exact same values. And copying this adjustment layer to the right isn't going to work. It will work, but you'll need to copy this effects, have the same amount of hue saturation, and if you've got a ton of different 
effects, this gives, can take time to copy them across. And if it's a long animation, it's going to be very daunting. So, with this selected, we're going to press Control Shift C. And what this does is it's called pre comping. So, again, press Control Shift C to get that up. And this selects this adjustment layer and puts it in its own composition. So, we'll just call this the color correction. So with this, we'll want to move all attributes into new composition. So this will move this hue saturation along with it. So make sure that's checked. We'll click OK. Now it looks like everything's gone. The hue saturation's gone. You've got this color correction layer. The effects have gone. But if you want to get that up, go to projects. Now we've got the new composition. So we can double click color correction. Select that adjustment layer. In the effects panel, you can see we've got this hue saturation already on. So if you want to keep this up, we can click this little lock. So we've padlocked that, so no matter what composition we'll go to, it's not going to change. So this is good if you want to look at the stereo whilst changing the colour correction in a different composition. So we're going to keep that locked on. So we're going to go back to the left, and as you can see again, nothing's happened. So what we'll need to do is, on this colour correction layer, there's, if we click down here, to get the expand these, we've got the collapse transforms. So straight away we'll click that. As you can see, it's taking the adjustment layer from this composition and applying it to the stereo left. So that's gone ahead and done that. So the main reason we did this is now if we go to the right, so drag the color correction above the right camera, and again we'll collapse transforms on that. Now you can see if we adjust as we lock this down. If we adjust the colour correction, say like this to a blue colour in the right camera, as you can see in the left camera it's also done the same. So then if we go ahead and look in the stereo camera, it's done that colour correction to both layers. So what all that's done is we've done the colour correction before the stereo before it merges it into a stereo image. And this is what you'll need to do if you're making any sort of animation. So the main thing is remember to keep the color correction before you merge the images. And it's just a good way of locking down this panel whilst you're watching the animation or stills. You can adjust this wheel and this will be a stereo image with the color correction applied. So this has just been a few tutorials how to make some sort of a stereo effect in Maya and how to composite that image back in After Effects. This will be a similar method in anything like Nuke or Fusion, something like that. It's just a similar sort of method of getting the colour correction before the stereo. So uh, thanks for watching and if anyone's got any trouble or questions just post in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. So thanks for watching these tutorials. Right, we'll see ya.